My name is Paul Wilson and I'd like to share with you a routine that I've used for a lot of years to uh, perform in the restaurant and table hopping environment. Okay, now what we're going to do is very, very simple. Okay, I'm going to show you how this works. I'm going to put one in the hand like this. And when you're not looking, I'm going to try and get it from this hand to that hand. Okay? Now you haven't seen this before. No. But that guy over there has. Did you see it? No, because you weren't looking. <laughs> Tell you what, hold on to this one. Hold on to this one. Nice and tight. Really tight. Now, what I'm going to do is make my one vanish. Now, to make it challenging, would it be great if your one vanished as well? Yeah. And appeared in my pocket. Okay. But it could be better than that. I can see from the look on your face. <laughs> it could be better than that. Okay. Look, blow on the ball. Now, you've done this before, I know. Nice and gentle. Okay, it disappears completely. Did you feel your one vanish? No. No. Seriously. Very slowly, open your hand. <laughs> have you done this in public before? No. Good, <laughs> good, okay. Now I have a prediction in my pocket. Mm -hmm. This, show it to everybody. I think this, now you picked that completely at random. I think this is the card that you picked. Now is this done in silence or uh, is this your card? No. Not the three, no. huh? Is it the four? No. <laughs> <laughs> How far do I have to go? No. Say when. We are now. Ten? <laughs> <laughs> you're a good audience, so I'm going to put the cards away. And uh, you're going to like this. This is everybody's favorite trick. Do you know why? Why? It's the last one. <laughs> it's got a great ending. I go away. All you have to do is watch the little red ball. Make sure there's nothing inside the cup. Nothing. Okay. I'm going to put the ball in the cup. Where's the ball? In the cup. And that's a good answer. You were, tr you were looking over here, I could tell. Now, if you were to put money on this, if I take the ball, make it vanish and appear over here, mm -hmm. it's quite confusing. I could put it here, I might not. So watch, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take it and put it into my pocket. Okay. Where's the ball? In your pocket. You're not sure. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> See, look, actually, I put it under here. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now then, watch very carefully. I have one little red ball, but I am taking tablets for that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll explain it to you. <laughs> where's the ball? In the cup. It doesn't get any fairer than that. Now, where's the ball now? In the pocket. You, what do you think? Under the cup. Okay, I'm going to have to slow this right down. Watch very carefully. <laughs> <laughs> the ball goes in the pocket. I'm going to leave it up to you. What does that leave under the cup? Nothing. Oh, the ball. Look. <laughs> the ball goes in the pocket. What does that leave under the cup? Nothing. You're going to feel like a lemon now. Look at this. It's a, it's a lemon. <laughs> <laughs> this is the big finish. No, 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 no. See. I saw you mouth over to, you went, you did that too. <laughs> two balls, right? That's what you think, two balls. Well, thank goodness for that. <laughs> in, in actual fact, uh, I don't use two balls. But I do use two lemons. <laughs> I'd like to make a very quick point about your audience. I've seen performers who go up to a table and they have a stream of consciousness that is directed at the audience. Bang, 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 trick, trick, trick. Gag, 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 next table. This is close-up magic. This is intimate magic. And here, the audience gets to be close to the magician and see him at work. I think it's important that you allow them to interact as much as possible with you, with you. So they can speak to you, they can ask you some questions. Don't knock them down with a heckle stopper if they ask something that's a little difficult. Try and deal with it. I think close-up magic is special because you do get to see a direct reaction from what you do. And of course, if somebody sees something impressive, then they will respond. Allow them to respond. Build it into your act. And you'll find that you can work on your feet better with a good audience than you can with a bad audience. I can mix these cards up as much as I like. Do you know why? We're not going to use them. Well, we, we will use them. We're going to use them as camouflage for another card I'm going to place in the deck. Now, this is a special card because it's a little bit different from the rest of the cards. Now, did you see this side? Very important that you didn't see that side. I'm going to take the card. I don't want you to even know where the card goes. 
I just want you to know that it's in the deck somewhere. I don't want you to know exactly what card it is, but it's in the deck somewhere. Now watch. I'm going to take cards one at a time. And uh, Garrett, would you be kind? What I'm going to do is I take cards like this. I'm actually going to let you see the faces, okay, like that. If you see your card, if you see a card that you like, just say stop. That card there, are you sure? The ten of spades. Now look, you could have said stop on any one of these cards. You said stop on the ten of spades. I'm not entirely sure why you decided on this card, but that's the only one with a red back. 